Hey guys, welcome to Daily Thoughts. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you are notified of all my upcoming videos. Now let's get into my daily thoughts. Today I want to talk about the power of words. Three words in particular. I can't breathe. Now I know that most of us think of these three words in relation to BLM or Black Lives Matter. But I want you to think about these words in the context of what is going on in the world today since the beginning of 2020 and how these words can be looked at in regards to the current situation. Now, when you think about the power of words and these three words, is it irony or a, an agenda that the words, I can't breathe, are correlated to the Black Lives Matter movement, and they are also correlated to what is going on in the world today. Is that irony or is that an agenda? Words are powerful, yes. These three words, I can't breathe, are the words that the late George Floyd said on that faithful day. They are about life and death. They are also the words that many people have said during this current situation. I can't breathe. There is a lyric in a gospel song that states you are the air I breathe now whether you believe in a higher power or not we can all agree that breathing air is essential to our existence now we've all seen people marching with signs and wearing t-shirts that say, I can't breathe. Now, nothing against BLM, because that's a conversation for another day, but these are powerful words, and we need to flip the script and put into the atmosphere, I can breathe. We do not want to put on ourselves such powerful words of life and death. I know that sounds like I'm getting deep, and I am. Words are powerful. What we say means something. The words we put into the atmosphere manifest. So let's think about what we're saying, the power of words. And these three words, I can't breathe, change them to I can breathe. Well, you guys, I know this was a rather deep one, but I'm about to get out of here and get on with my day. I will uh, see you guys tomorrow with my next daily thoughts. Until then, I want to give you peace and blessings from the West Side. Please follow me on all my other social media. And I'm out of here. Peace.